times are crazy, and you want to get yourself some Pokemon cards. So today, we're getting into the top five places you can buy cards online. Big name edition. Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. I am Pokemaniac Steven, and here we love Pokemon. We do everything from Pokemon unboxings, card openings, Pokemon news recaps, and we give nice little tips like this video today. So if you love Pokemon, make sure to subscribe to the channel, catch all of the videos, and while you're down there, hit the like button. So like I said, we're getting into the top five places to buy Pokemon cards online. And this is all gonna be like big names out there, so the big box stores. I do plan on doing a follow-up to this video for lesser known online shops, just in case you're looking to expand where else you can buy Pokemon cards from. So, 2020 hit us in a lot of different ways, and I think the card market was the most surprising one. So we find ourselves in a really weird scenario where cards are really rare and going for a premium. But we want to pay MSRP. I'll be going over my opinion of their website, their typical restock time, and my opinion of how they ship. So here we go, five places you can find cards online, and if you stay on top of it, you probably find them at a good price. All right, first up, Walmart. Walmart's site, in my opinion, is terrible. You can hardly ever find out if it's being sold by Walmart themselves or if it's in their marketplace, but you can find stuff here. So, going over to walmart.com, you just need to search for Pokemon cards. Search for that, most likely you will get a bunch of results. I like to sort by newest, and here you go. So, here you go, we've got the Sword and Shield box for $100, I don't think so. So I do try to limit this down by scrolling down to the side and choosing the retailer as walmart.com. From there, you can kind of see what is in stock, what's not in stock, if you got to go to in-store only. But right now, not a lot in terms of cards, but does look like we have some stuff like uh, we've got like this Charizard album. If you are looking for card supplies, I do have links down in my description. If you ever need anything like sleeves, pages, binders, whatever you need, I do have those down in the description for you. Now, in terms of restock time, Walmart actually don't know when their restock time is. So if you know, down in the comments, let me know. It always feels like they restock just randomly in the middle of the day, and then I end up missing it because I'm in like a meeting or something. But it seems like when they do restock, you can usually get something. Shipping wise, Walmart actually does a pretty good job. The times that I have ordered from them, Walmart's been able to choose an appropriate size box. Nothing was damaged, so that's always a plus. And I got my products pretty quickly. So walmart.com, if you can find something, it's gonna be good. Number two on the list is Target. Now Target, arguably the most popular place to go find Pokemon cards. So target.com, even during the good times, was kind of hit and miss on inventory, but they do a good job. So going over to target.com, come up here, Pokemon cards, search for that. Sometimes their search isn't always perfect. Sometimes you do need to specifically search for like Shining Fates or like this is the specific set that you're looking for. Pokemon cards isn't always tailored to uh, the products. Again, here we have a lot of these card supplies going on. They do put some of these extra listings in here. So you do need to go over here and filter out. Most of them, the pricing is pretty high. So make sure it's sold by Target and we don't have a lot of options there, unfortunately. Oh, hey, look, you can get the Pokemon cereal online. What Target does have though is perks. For being a customer, you can sign up for things like the red card, uh, or you can go and sign up for things like Target Circle. So Target Circle, the more you spend, the more rewards you get. So every purchase you get, there's cash back. So definitely something that you should sign up for, and you get free coupons too. Most of the time it'll be like 25% off of a toy. Really good deals. Target usually restocks probably sometime around like 6 a.m. Eastern, but there have been later restocks. I always miss them but every once in a while, I'll hop on and uh, be able to catch something a couple hours late. Shipping with Target, also not bad. Boxes usually are pretty well shaped for what you ordered and packing materials are used appropriately. I, so far, Target, I haven't had a damaged box or anything, which might be more of a signal of who they use to ship, but so far, my shipping experience with Target has actually been like very nice. Third, and probably one of the most popular, GameStop. GameStop website, it kind of hit and miss. It's a little bit mad. It's a little bit disorganized and it's not always the easiest site to tell whether something is in stock or out of stock. Also, pre-ordering 
can get a little bit messy if things are set up to release on different dates. You're going to need to put in multiple orders based around that. Historically though, GameStop has had some of the best and most frequent deals on Pokemon cards. Lately, we're in a lull, the market's a little bit weird. So admittedly, it's been a minute. Jumping onto GameStop.com, you just, I always just search for Pokemon, I just, I like to be able to see everything, but on the website, search for that, and then it always defaults the best matches, but I like to click to newest to oldest, just in case, so I can make sure I'm keeping up on the newest sets coming out, like Chilling Rain. Uh, but also it's nice to see like we've got this waffle maker coming out we've also got uh, like these models uh, this cool ramen bowl mugs like it's always cool to see all, all of these things coming out so I always like to do that but as you can see here if you don't mess with your filters like chilling rain shows up there and you click on it and then all of a sudden boom not available but what's cool about the GameStop website is you can actually go find out uh, if an item is in stock near you and then you can either pay online and pick it up or uh, it's really convenient gamestop when they restock it's kind of hit and miss sometimes it's early sometimes it's the middle of the day i feel like most of the time it's just in the middle of the day anywhere between like 12 and 2 eastern something like that but sometimes they'll have stuff right right out of the gate in the morning so a little bit hit and miss i'm always refreshing them throughout the day shipping with gamestop oof anybody who has ordered items from gamestop probably knows that they, their warehouse is a mess. I constantly get items that are shipped to me, like I'll have sleeved booster packs in a box that's about this big, and it is just stuffed full of packing material. We've got packing pillows that are inflated, and packing pillows that are not inflated, so they're just literally thrown in there. They're just plastic. I have had times where I've had items missing, they ended up coming, but it was just a separate package I didn't even know about. But there have been times where I've had unexpected items in the box too, so free perks. So far, nothing, knock on wood, has come damaged. So far, everything's been pretty good. It's just, it's a little bit sloppy, and this the excessive use of packing materials just kind of irks me a little bit. Next up is Best Buy. Best Buy, hands down, has the slowest website of them all, but that does come with an added perk. Everything is just available to you right at a glance. So, over to the website, you go and search for Pokemon cards, and as you scroll, you want to scroll slowly because these, uh, I mean, it says unavailable nearby, sold out. Unfortunately, that's the world that we live in. But as you scroll through, it does actually go and pull some of the information through. You kind of see that it's loading there. So like we can get these uh, first partner collector binders. Uh, we can get those. But if they are available for you to pick up from the Best Buy store nearest you, uh, it'll actually tell you there that you can go and make an order and just pick it up in the store. As you can kind of see here, Best Buy does have probably the, one of the best selections of Pokemon cards. A little while ago, when things were uh, a little bit easier to get cards, this was the go-to site. I could get Evolutions here, I could get XY Era cards, nobody else was stocking them, GameStop didn't have them. This was the site to go to. Now the worst part about Best Buy is when you do get something added to cart, you go on here and look, you get one, two, three, four, you can do up to five. Six, it'll throw an alert. I've got these Vivid Voltage booster packs in there. I can order two. So depending on the item, I could never really find like a correlation between this, but depending on the item, they put weird limitations on it. So you end up having to do multiple orders over and over. It's just inconvenient. Best Buy, when they restock, it's uh, a little hit and miss. It's either early in the morning or it'll just randomly be throughout the day. Usually the random ones are like late morning-ish, uh, and that's when like pre-orders will be coming out. Best Buy shipping is fine, I would say. If the order is big enough in size or quantity, they usually take care of you. The boxes are uh, appropriately chosen. I order a lot of the loose sleeved booster packs, and most of the time when that happens, they just shove them into a bubble mailer and send it off. Now, thankfully, there have been no issues with that, but every time I open up my mailbox and I see that that is sitting in there, my heart drops every single time. Now, wrapping this up with the big dogs themselves. PokemonCenter.com. Surprisingly, I hear this question a lot, and PokemonCenter.com, yes, they are a legitimate website. They, they are the official Pokemon merchandise website. I'm not affiliated, maybe one day, but I do love this site. It does have its flaws though, with poor bot protection, banning regular users just for browsing the site after a few clicks. There's no queue for checkouts, and they surprisingly have very limited stock most of the time. However, it's a very popular website, and they do have quite the variety of products. So they have figurines, clothing items, cards, like you name it, it's probably on this website. There will be times where I just spend like an hour browsing through this website and I'm like, oh, I gotta go. They have added some new creature comforts. So over here, I always click on new releases and then boom, there you go. You've got the newest releases. They did add this feature now where it says sold out on top of an item, which is 
super nice because now I don't have to waste my clicks before I get banned. But every now and then there is a false positive there. It'll say sold out and it's not actually sold out. So make sure if you really want an item, make sure to still click on it just in case. Pokemon Center does normally update its website anywhere between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern. That's normally when you can catch the new drops. They do randomly just restock like plushies and stuff just kind of stealth. I've seen it happen later in the day. I've seen it happen on a Saturday. Those ones are kind of wild, so you need to like have some tabs open, maybe refresh those every now and then. Pokemon Center shipping is mostly good. Mostly. They either nail it with appropriate box sizing and packaging, or is the total opposite and is the smallest item in this giant box with uh, like a little bit of packaging. There's also been, like I don't know, this might have been just a random trend, but a lot of people were saying that they were getting their boxes from Pokemon Center and they were just like destroyed. The items inside were fine, but the box was just wrecked, like somebody sat on it. I never experienced that, so I don't know if those things are true, but so far my experience with their shipping has been very nice. All right, those are my top five places, big name places, that you can get cards online. There's also Amazon.com, but honestly, every order that I put on Amazon for Pokemon cards has been canceled. So I have yet to have an order from Amazon actually be fulfilled. So maybe that'll be like your sixth place you can go. And instead of five, you get your bonus one at the end of the video. I just technically have no experience with them. Let me know your experience with Amazon and be sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today. Take care of each other out there, and I'm going to see you very soon on the next one.